In today's episode, I'm going to walk you through how to read multiple files resident in GitHub to Databricks notebook for analysis. This is a common data engineering task you might encounter during job interviews. So let's get started. I'm going to come to my GitHub and I'm going to click on repositories. I've got this data engineering sales data repo and this contains some CSV files. I've got sales 2015 to 2025.csv. Essentially, you just want to read some of this data into a pandas data frame in the Tibet notebook. And then we're going to go ahead and convert into Spark data frame, create a temporary view, and then we're going to query using the SQL magic command. So let's go on. I'm going to come to the Databricks platform. First, you want to make sure you've created a cluster and this should be running. I'm going to click on Compute and then I've got this My Cluster running. If you don't have to create one, just click on this Create and then you can define the parameters and then once you're done, click on Create Compute. And it's going to be spinning up for about five minutes and this should be ready. So I want to go ahead and create a notebook. In the notebook, I'm going to click on this. And it's a good practice to always give a meaningful name to your notebook in order to be able to differentiate them. So I'm going to call this one GitHub. So Databricks Data Integration and Analysis. And then press Enter. And secondly, you want to make sure that the cluster is attached to this notebook. So we can go ahead and write our code in this environment. First, we'll import the pandas library. So I just want to make a comment here and just call it on import pandas library and press enter. So this will be import pandas as pd and then I'm going to press enter. Next, we want to go ahead and define the URLs to the data from the GitHub. So again, I'm going to comment, define the URLs of data and I'm going to press enter. So for this, I just need some variable to be declared that's going to hold some values. So I'm going to call this on URL sales data 2015 equals and I'm going to come to my GitHub. Now I'm going to click on this sales 2015 and then I need the raw part. I need the base and the relative path. So I'm going to click on this raw. And it's going to open in this different URL. So I'm going to see this HTTPS raw.github usercontent.com. And then you're going to see your username and then the name of the repo. And then we have other path. So I can just control A and control C to copy that. And within a single code, I'm going to control V. So this is going to be the path for the 2015. I'm going to Ctrl-C the whole thing, press Enter, Ctrl-V, and I'm going to make changes to, this is going to be 2016, and it's going to be 2017. And don't forget to make the changes to this. This is going to be 2016 CSV files and the 2017. So I can press Enter. Next, we're going to go ahead and read the data into Pandas data frame. So I'm going to do under comment, read data into Pandas data frames and data frames and I'm going to press enter so for this I'm going to just declare some variable again sales data 2015 DF 2015 DF and equals I'm going to use the pd dot read underscore csv because our data is comma separated value so I'm going to open the bracket and I can pass this URL since data 2015 so I'm going to keep on typing and press the tab key now I'm going to copy the code from this environment ctrl c ctrl v ctrl v and then this is going to be for the 2016 and this is going to be for 2017 and then I can press enter. Next, we're going to go ahead and concatenate the data frame. So I'm going to just do another comment, concatenate, concatenate the data frame. So for this, I'm going to press enter and I'm going to call this one append the DA. So for this, I'm going to do PD dot concat function. So I'm going to open the bracket and open a square bracket so I can begin to pass in the sales data 2015, 16, and so on. Now, by the way, I need to make changes to this could be 16 and this should be 2017. So I'm going to come inside this square bracket. I'm going to call the sales data 2015, put in a comma, and then for the 2016, put in a comma, and then for the 20. 
17. So I can press enter. So we want to go ahead and convert the pandas data frame into Spark data frame. So another comment convert the pandas to Spark data frame. And I'm going to press enter for this. I'm going to use another variable. So I'm going to call this one Spark um, underscore df equals. So I'm going to use the Spark function and then I can use the create data frame and open the brackets. Now I'm going to pass this append df as the argument so i'm going to control v and then press enter so we want to go ahead and create a temporary view that is going to allow us to code the data in sql so create temp view and then i'm going to press enter so again i'm going to scroll down a little bit and i'm going to call this one spark underscore df dot create temp view or create or replace temp view and open the brackets. So I'm going to call this one inside double quotes sales data from GitHub. You can use whatever you like as the name. So once I'm done, I can control enter to run the code. Now you can see our code run successfully with this check mark, no error whatsoever. So I'm going to scroll down and create a new code of cells so click on this now we can go ahead and switch now don't forget the primary language is PySpark. so we won't actually interact or analyze using the sql so i'm going to use the magic command the percent sql and as soon as i press enter see what happened this has changed from python to sql so this is the magic command to switch from the primary language to another language you want to use. So I can go ahead and perform my select star from, and I can pass in this sales data from GitHub timetable. So control V and I can control enter to run. And there we go. So we have all the data. Now let's quickly perform a simple group by. So we want to see the year and the want to sum by the sales column. And I'm going to alias this as total sales and then i'm going to use the group by all so i can use the group by all and control enter to run the code amazing so this gave us the total sales for the 2015 16 and 2017 which is absolutely brilliant so this is how we can easily read data stored in github into databricks notebook and perform some analysis i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like comment share and follow me for more videos thank you for watching bye for now